the day that we went over to a part of us and got uh, pretty well shot up and lost people. That was, a, as I remember, it was exactly 30 days from the day that we arrived over in the, 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 uh, Italy and in the end of our squadron. Mm. Exactly 30 days. I thought about that some, some times years later. It never dawned me on at the time. Mm. So only three days after Partibus and all that nightmare that you went through, you went back to Blackhammer, Blackhammer. which was that a hell of a damn target. Scary to me. Talk about that if you'd like. What what were some of the tough parts of all that? I don't. Uh, the only thing I can remember about Blackhammer, every time he's they're just saying the name to me like, look out, that's going to be the mean one. Uh, however, for us, we did get uh, shot up pretty bad, but not, not, nothing like some of the other guys. But I just just the name scared me for some reason. I didn't think I'd ever feel that way. Mm. So into September, you were bombing targets such as Vienna, the railroad marshalling yards, and, and then, I imagine the Germans sent up a lot of fighter planes to try to stop you. Yeah, they, as many they they were getting so that the week after week they were have, you could tell that. Uh, and I heard the uh, uh, intelligence people, they're right, debriefings too, that they're, they're still kitting us pretty hard, but with fewer aircraft. They didn't seem to have as, usually you'd see them like a, a swarm of bees, and now you might be only have maybe uh, ten of them. Uh, this must, but they, they were old, old timers, and they could get to you if you didn't, if you didn't catch them first. Yeah, and the flak they say was getting worse all the time as well because they had more guns around the targets right. now. They were just loading them up in that lens, Steyr, Blackhammer in that. Area. Oh yeah, it just areas of the sky would just be black. Wow. Now, you, you talked once about a mission. You're not sure where you were bombing that day, but a particular mission where a German plane came very close to your plane and you let him have it. Uh, Talk about oh, that, that a little bit. Tell us little, what you saw. It was a not often, but uh, several times, especially at night, somehow the Germans had spies get in there and actually blow up our airplane right on the flight line loaded with it ready to go and their explosions just rocked the whole area the uh, the next day though when we went took off on our mission we get up over the Adriatic and that's where we uh, on the command of the pilots we lo 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 loaded the shells into the guns and shot and make sure each one of them worked. That about three fourths of them didn't work. There was something wrong with the with the ammunition or whatever. But we had to go on. We pressed on anyhow. And that's why that the Germans just fly, flew right up to us. They knew they weren't going to get hurt. But uh, I guess just being fooled, you know, they, several of us did have live ammunition, and I was. Uh, I crawled up into the upper turret and looked back toward the back end of the aircraft and I saw, uh, I could see uh, uh, Corny Fenero look, just looking around the top of the airplane. He's the and tail gunner. I could gunner. see him back there and he didn't see him moving, you know. And I, I never did hear him shoot any. I really didn't. Uh, but from that point, I, while I'm kind of looking what's going on here, Anybody else who you know need help? Uh, well, I just looked to my left, and here come a German plane just flying up to, right behind uh, our our wingman, and it's just right up there. It looks, it looks like everything's moving so slow, you know, in there. And I didn't know that I remembered to say I'm going to do this. I don't remember that. All I did was just swung swung around here, and I. Took a bead on the nose of the cone of the aircraft, fire, kept firing, and just ripped it all the way back to the cockpit. 
this uh, fellow there, he sat there, the pilot, I could see him, just as little plain as day. He must have sat there for five or six seconds, just like he's nothing happening. And all of a sudden, he just fell forward like that. And I guess when he did hit the control stick or whatever, you know, or maybe the rudder or whatever with his legs, and that thing just tipped up like this and then turned around and went right straight. Last I saw, he was headed straight down for the floor. Ground. That was a, a Falk Wolf 190, huh? That was a 190, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that was, as you say, the surest time that you know that you hit something, huh? Yes. Yeah, that's the only time you could tell. I, I could actually see him. Mm -hmm. uh, no, as a normal thing, you, you shoot him. If now, if you hurt him, you, you'll see whatever it is, oil and streaks and fire, you know, or something like that. But that, you never know, but maybe he could get back, you didn't know. He, he might let go, landed, mechanics take him back up, and he's back up to at you the next day. Mm -hmm. Did you get credit for uh, a fighter kill? Did you yes. get credit for that? Yes. Uh, you did? Uh, I forgot, I don't know how many they, they keep track of. They, 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 they question you quite thoroughly at the debriefings. And they they came, were the ones who made the final decision to get the to give you credit or not. 